I'm with the Senior Director of Policy here at CUPS. Tell me, what's going on here? Well, Kent, we're very excited about the national strategy the, for housing and for child development. We think those are excellent opportunities that we can help the folks that we work with. Well, tell me about the folks that you work with. We work with uh, people in Calgary who are both poor and have suffered trauma. Okay, and what do you do to try to rectify those situations? So what we do here is we look at the whole person as they come in and we do an assessment with them to figure out how they're doing on their physical health, mental health, um, food, housing, income, those sorts of things. We look at that and we assess them, create a care plan together, and then get them with our partners to the right services that they need to. Now, when I, when I, Robert, I was touring the building and I saw a poster that said, it's not what's wrong with you, it's what happened to you. Can you tell me what that philosophy is? That is a critical thing of what we do here at CUPS. It's really embedded in the science of adverse child experiences and trauma and resiliency and how to really help people get over those experiences that they've had happen to them. Bad things that have happened to you when you're children affect you in your adult life. What would these things be? They'd be from seemingly innocent things like divorce to having a parent incarcerated to living with somebody with an active mental illness to being physically sexually or otherwise abused these are bad things that happen to people and they add up the more of these you have the worse your health outcomes are it's life. even housing insecurity poverty those have issues for children that linger absolutely those not having the necessities of life will affect how you grow up and how you view the world one of the things our government brought in was the Canada Child Benefit, which uh, targets uh, more income to families who need it. Are you seeing that being uh, something that can rectify these ACEs scores? Absolutely. If a family, you know, if a child is getting the basic needs that they need supplied through income, so they can get access to the food that they need, healthy food, when they can buy it, when they need to have on the table, giving them the choice as opposed to looking for handouts all the time, then they can really get back onto their feet. Okay. Okay. This is one of our community partners helping people out of poverty, into housing security, and moving upwards with their lives. Absolutely. Dealing with the trauma that may have suffered and getting out of poverty and breaking that cycle. That's what we need to do. We'll keep on working at it. Thank you, Robert. sir. Thank you. Thank you.